fantastic bad company song um, Brian Howe is singing on this God rest his soul if you're not aware he had passed but um, this is such a fantastic song Mick Ralph just has so many great licks in this I, I can't tell it's worth learning just the licks frankly um, well constructed, very kind of 80s, early 90s um, song that was a hit for him. So um, we'll go through it. It's in standard tuning. My notes will be available right below uh, the video. So the song is going to start out with a, a short twill on the second fret of the fourth string. It's three hits. I counted them. So we're going to hit open to two on that fourth string three times. Then we start in with the lick. Now this lick, like I said, is very, it's simple, but it's tricky. It's going to sound like this. Alright, so what we're doing is hitting the open E, sixth string, coming to the E on the fourth string, to the B note on the fifth string. Then we're going to hit that open sixth string again before hitting the third fret of the string for pull down and then open again. Alright, so we have this all together. And the trick of this is really kind of playing through and picking up and down. It really helps to catch this. It's one of those licks that really takes some patience to get right. And this is in all of it. Again, there's a note missing here that adds to the timing. But because of the twill, we're not doing that. So we're going basically into the second half of the lick, if you will. But anyhow, what we're going to do after that is hit a G power chord twice to an A power chord. And this is all semi-palm muting. It's not... It's Alright, so after our two G's to A, we're going to come back and repeat what we just did from the 6th string to the 4th, 5th string. Alright, so get that under your fingers. Even if you down and up pick, whatever works for you, but just practice it. Work it up to speed. Alright, so what I noticed about this in the tab that was missing is when we go into, this is the second measure of the intro, if you did that lick just like we learned it without the twill, if you will, 
the timing is just slightly off. So slowing it down, I was able to hear he starts out on the third fret of the sixth string before going to open. <laughs> that just adds to the timing. So we're taking that third string off to the open and then we start to the fourth and uh, fifth string. So he only does that at the beginning of the lick from now on. Okay, the intro, because of the twill, he doesn't do that. And there's one other spot in the, uh, in the verse when he goes into something different. I'll show you the difference. But from now on, the lick will start with that G note. Then we go into our G to A. Then just the lick without the G. All right. After each one of these in the intro, we'll hear three individual licks. I'm going to go over that with the solo after the rhythm lesson. So we're just focusing on the rhythm next. Um, so we've got, uh, let's see, we've done the second measure, the third measure is the same. <laughs> to verse 1. So there's four measures in the intro and then verse 1, the first two measures are this lick. Alright, after that you'll just hear him do a slide down. I wrote it out from about 7 and then we're going to go open fourth and third string, referencing a G chord, to an A, all right? And then he's going to hit um, a chuck, and then another chuck quickly before he hits D. So it will sound like this. All right, and then we're going to hit another chuck to D. And then he goes into the lick. Now this is the second time he goes into the lick without the G note. It's like that D takes place of it. Alright, so I'm going to do the verse. I'm going to do the lick with the G twice. I'm going to do that little... Uh, B section of the verse before we go into the lick without the G. Alright? So, one, two, three, four. To the pre-chorus. So the pre-chorus will sound like this. Alright, what we're doing is sliding in, we're going to go A to A sharp to B twice. Then there's a chaka, then we do a C, chaka, D, another chaka, and another D. Alright, so we have this so far. One, two, three, four. Alright, we're going to 
going to repeat that, but you don't have to play the full A. As you're coming back, hit the A string and go into the A sharp before the B. The only difference is after the second D and chukka, we're going to hit another D and slide down, taking us into the chorus. All right, so the whole thing together at a medium speed. One, two, three, four. The chorus really follows the... Um, the melody of the actual sung chorus. All right. So what we're going to be doing is a couple six string E's open before we go to a fifth string E, slid down to a D, slid down to an A, and then kind of a quick B back to C, and then D. All right. So the chorus will sound like this. So what we're doing, two power chord E's with the 6th root. Then we come up to the 7th fret E. We're going to strike that, slide to a D. We'll hit D again with a slight pause before we slide to A. So again, if you get this, feels like I'm walking on holy water. If you get that in your head, you can really just play right along with it. Alright, after we hit the A twice, we're going to hit it again and quickly go to B, and then to C, C slides up to D, alright? the whole thing together. This repeats three times. Let's do it three times. Then we just kind of palm mute a little bit on the C, semi-palm mute, and then D to finish it out. One, two, three, four. <laughs> for two measures. Right, that's one time through, but again, I'll do that again before they start the verse. Alright, so again, I've written it all out if that'll help you follow along with this. Use your ears, play with it. Now we're into verse 2. Verse 2 is exactly like the first verse. Alright, we're going to do the... You know... Alright, to end it out. And then we're into the chorus that's basically the second chorus, alright? It's exactly like the first chorus. The only difference, I guess I shouldn't say exactly like, the only difference with it is when we come from the C to B, it's not really so much palm muted. 
There's a uh, chord, he hits the G suspended, so add your pinky down onto the second string at the eighth fret. And then we come into the bridge. Alright, so let's go through the last uh, measure of the chorus and then put this into the bridge. next but you can see how that suspended will lead us into the bridge all right for the bridge what we're going to do is hit an open sixth string to the third fret pulled down before we hit an a power chord twice then a little chuck and then do that again and then once we pull it down, we're going to go to an E sixth. And then we come up to the E at the, at the fifth root, all right, up here at the ninth and seventh fret. And then we're going to quickly hammer on from seven to nine. It'd be like hitting D to E. So we have this. Let's go through this. Um, all right, so seven to nine, and then we're going to hit an open six string back to an E, and then again seven to nine, but we'll hit nine twice. So that's the first measure of the bridge. So I'm going to take you through that slowly. One, two, three, four. But he doesn't hit the open E, he just comes back with the A. Alright, and then we come back, but we start with the pull down. C and D. That's basically the end of the bridge. Then we're into the solo. The solo rhythm is really the lick for four measures. So after the solo rhythm, we're into the pre-chorus rhythm. So this would be the third pre-chorus. Then we're into the third chorus. The third chorus takes us out of the song. So it's really just like every other chorus. We're going to go it three times through, ending on our C to D. And then we'll go one more time, which fades out. <laughs> So, again, that's how the song ends. Now, what we have up next are the licks. Again, I've written all this out. That'll really help. The licks are fantastic. If you learn this just for the licks um, and put them in your, your little basket of tools, they're fantastic. Mick, Ralph, Mick Ralph's really um, outdoes himself. So the first lick you'll hear will be this. <laughs> What we're going to do is pre-bend 14 on the 3rd string, grabbing 15 on the 2nd before we hit that 14 and release it. Now the 15 you want to let go as soon as you hit 14. And then hit 12 to 14 bent up. And then 12 on the 1st string. 
So the 12 is hit three times, the first two with a little vibrato, and then the third one lets go. So all together. All right, that's the very first slick. The next slick, very slick. All right, we're going to slide from the four string seven to nine. It'll sound like this. Alright, so we're sliding from 7 to 9 on the 4th string, we'll catch the 3rd string at 9, back to 9 on 4, before we go to 12 with 2 bends, the 2nd one will release to 9. Alright, so that's the 2nd lick you'll hear. Now, the 3rd lick will come in right as we finish off the intro and it's going to be an, like a pull off here at the first position we're going to hit the third string open before we go hitting four on the third string pulled off to two and open landing on two on the fourth string and then open two open on that fourth string <laughs> Open two open before we land on two on the fifth string. So all together. It's kind of a quick lick. And then we're next lick will be the fourth lick, which now we're into the verses. So we're in the fourth lick. This will be basically seventh position, but it starts out on the second string. 10 pulled off to 8, and then 9 pulled off to 7 on the 2nd and 3rd string, um, and we'll do that twice. Then we end up with 7 and the 4th string slid up to 9. Alright, so that's the 4th lick. Now the 5th lick, as I've written it out, and again it's in my notes where it comes in, we're going to bend up at the 12th fret twice before hitting 9 on the 3rd string. And then it slides off. Alright. The 6th, that's a 5th lick. The 6th lick will sound like this. I absolutely love this lick. So what we're doing is sliding from 7 to 9 on the 4th string. Then we're going to catch the third string at 12, pulled off to 9, then 11, pulled back off to 9, then hit 9, slide to 7 with a slight bend before hitting 9 again on the third string. Just a fantastic click. Alright, and then we've got the 7th lick, which kind of, uh, it's back here at the 2nd fret, 3rd string, with a bend that's slow. Alright, so that's the 7th lick. 8th lick is pretty simple, we're going to be on the 3rd string, we're going to hit 5, slide up to 7, and then hit 9 with vibrato. Okay, so that's this eighth lick. The ninth lick is very similar to what we've done. Ten pulled off to eight, and then on, that's on the second string, third string. Nine pulled off to seven twice. This time, instead of sliding into nine, we're just going to hit nine. Alright, so that we go a little bit longer before we hear the next lick. This is the tenth lick. The tenth lick is probably the most involved. We'll be up here at the twelfth fret doing sort of a Chuck Berry type move. So what we're doing is bending the, hit the fourteenth fret of the third string, bend up before we hit twelve on the 2nd to 12 on the 1st, then we'll come to 15 on the 2nd, pulled off to 12. Then we take 14 with a bend release and pull off to 12. Land on 14 on the 4th string. 
Oh. And then just move your finger and catch 14 on the fifth string and slide off. All right, so slowly, one, two, three, four. All right, lick 11 repeats twice. It's again another simple lick. We'll be up here on the fifth fret. What we're going to do is hit 5 7 on the fifth string to 5 on the fourth, back to 7 on the fifth. All right, for the 12th lick, what we're going to do on the fourth string, we're going to hit 5 hammered into 7. Then we'll hit 5 on the third, slide up to 7 and catch nine. So all these licks, although similar, have just enough differences that really add some real flavor to the song. So we got this. Alright, lick 13. Alright, very similar to what we've done. Alright, this very last 12th lick, we're going to hammer into 7 from 5 on the 4th string, taking 5 on the 3rd string, slid up to 7, hit 9, but then we're going to go 8 back to 9, 8 on the 2nd back to 9, and then hit 8 bent, 8 bent again with a release, back to the 3rd string at 9. So slowly. Just classic licks that fit the song so well. Alright, those are all the licks. We'll go over the solo next. Just measure the solo. We'll just do half of it because we're going to switch positions. But we'll be up here at the 12th position. We're going to do three unison bends before we do a little lick that takes us to the next position. So it'll sound like this. Alright, so we're taking the 12th fret of the second string and we're taking 14 on the third string bent up. That happens three times before we come to the second string. 15 pulled off to 12. 14 with a bend release pull off to 12. And 14 on the 4 slid down. Alright, so we got this all together. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the second half of the first measure of the solo, we're going to move basically to the 5th position. We'll switch around to the 3rd, but it'll sound like this. So what he's going to do is hammer on from 5 to 7, catch 7 to 5 on the 5th string, come to 7 on the 6th string, and then 5 on the 4th with a bend, and then hit 7 on, four, on the 5th. Sorry. Alright, so again... Slowly, one, two, three, four. Then we move to the third position, catch three on the sixth string to five, back to three and open. Then we come to the fifth string at five with a bend and then five unbent and slid off. So the whole second half measure of the solo. Alright, ah, for shits and grins, let's do the whole first measure of the solo. One for shits and grins, let's do the whole first measure of the solo. Slowly, one, two, three, four. point we're going to switch position for the second measure of the solo it starts out at the eighth position so what we're going to do is hammer into ten on the second string before we catch nine 
then we're gonna, it's quick. Then we're gonna take eight bent, 10 bent, eight bent, and 10 bent before we go back to eight on the second string and catch nine slid down. All right, so the second measure, the first quarter of it. Then we move to the 12th position. Now up here, what we're gonna do on the second string is hit 12, 15 bent to 12 twice on the first string before we hit 15 bent up to 12. Then we come back to 15 twice on the second string, third time pull off to 12. Then we go to the third string, 12, hammered on to 14, to the third string, 15 to 12, or I'm sorry, second string, 15 to 12. And then 12 on the third string to 14. Alright, I know it's a lot of numbers, but let me take it from, okay, we slid off from the 9, um, third string. Alright, now we're going... take 14 pulled off to 12 and land on 14 on the fourth string. So like I said it's a lot of numbers. Let's take the whole second measure together slowly one, two, three, four. We're to the third and final measure of the solo. We're going to stay here at the 12th position. We're going to hit 12 to 15 with a bend and release. Come to the first string, hit 12. Then we're going to move right to 17 with two bends. Going to 15 on the second to 17 bent and slid off. So we have this for the third measure so far. One, two, three, four. Come back to that 15th position. All right, we're going to catch 15, 17, 15 on the second. And then 16 to 14. And then on the fourth string, 17 to 14 pulled, slide, slid down. So we have this for the final lick. All right, so let's take that whole third measure together. One, two, three, four. played a bit quicker but it's really not a difficult solo per se it's really getting it in your head and working it all out but those are great licks great solo I hope this helps everybody again my notes are available below the video that will help to download and follow along so enjoy